Hello and welcome to another People in Action Arts and Crafts session with Martin, Georgia and Joey at home. Today we're going to be making stingrays. So first of all you'll need some coloured card, a pair of scissors, a groovy pen, some Pritt stick and some colouring pens. We start by folding the card up to the edge. We then turn the card around, take our scissors and we're going to make some cuts upwards. If you would like to use a ruler and a pen to mark this, that's absolutely fine. But you can do it freehand. Once you've done that, you can open it up and cut the excess off. Now we need to take our glue and start gluing down the strips. So you'll have to take your time with this and be very patient. Sometimes the strips like to ping back out. Once you have glued down all of the strips, make sure you do the other side. Then it's time to curve that tail, make it nice and sharp, just like a stingray. Now let's flip it over, and your stingray is almost done. Now take that groovy pen and do some artwork. Well done Joey, that looks amazing. Now it's George's turn. George is going to draw on the eyes. She's chosen the colour pink. Now what colour do we need Georgia? Ah, black. Great job Georgia. And I think we're finished. Hello my loyal subjects. Welcome to Queen Lisa's bonus craft round. Oh. Hello and welcome to the bonus craft round. Today we're going to be making origami butterflies. So you're going to need some coloured card, some glue, some scissors, a pen that has a clip on the end, and something to decorate with. Let's take the card and do a fold to the edge. Then we're going to cut that excess off. Once we've done that we can open it out and then we can fold the card upwards so that when we open the card back up we have a line going up and across. Now we need to make sure that the cross is in the middle before we start to fold the card. So fold the card upwards, open it, turn it and fold it again. Now comes the tricky bit. Once you've opened it, we need to fold two sides inwards. This is going to create a triangle. Now you may have to take your time with this because it can be quite fiddly. But once you've done it, it should look like this. Now we need to fold the card again and take our scissors and trim the edge. We can make a nice curve for this. Now let's take each side and fold it upwards, leaving a little space in the middle. Turn it over and fold the point upwards. Turn it over again and then fold the point down. This is where your pen is going to come in handy. So take a little bit of glue and apply it to the tip. Push that down and then take your pen and use the clip on the end of the pen to secure it in place. Then you can just leave that to dry. Now comes the fun part. You can decorate this however you like using paint, pens, crayons or even sequins. This part always reminds me of a praying mantis. Now it's time to take a look at your experiments. Let's see how strange they were.
thank you for joining us again for your People in Action Arts and Crafts sessions. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.